Recently, the world and the Marvel Universe lost one of its most talented and most loving actors to ever grace the silver screen. Today, we're dedicating this lesson on how to draw the Black Panther to the late Chadwick Boseman. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. So we start over on the left side, starting from the top of our circle, come all the way down towards the bottom, and we'll bring that back up towards the top. Now let's leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the top of that circle, and bring that down towards the same height, and back up towards the top. Now we're going to add two small circles on the top left side of each eye for a highlight. So up against the edge of the eye, draw that circle coming in, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right, coming in, and then out. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move up and draw on the eyebrows. We're going to start over on the left side. We're going to draw a curve that comes in and then down on the inside. Let's line this up on the right, going up and then bending that out. Now we're going to go back to the inside and curl up the brow. On the left side, curve in and pull that up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's thicken up the eyebrows. On the outside, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and in. And we'll follow that same curve, coming in and then down towards the inside of the brow. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Let's move to the center and draw on the nose. We're gonna start by lining up at the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center, now I'm going to start on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and then up. Now I'm going to step up and draw a short curve going up and then down for the bridge of the nose. And then from the bottom of the nose, we're going to step down and draw on the mouth. Start over on the left, curve up and then down. And then we'll step down in the middle and draw a straight line for the lower lip. Now I'm going to go to the outside and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out and draw a large half circle. And bring this down. It's going to round up the chin underneath the mouth. And going out and up on the right. And then we'll draw on the goatee. From the left corner of the mouth, we're going to step up. It's going to curve out and then down, just up above the chin. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to connect the inside with the same curve of the chin. Coming down and then up. Let's go back up to the top. We're just going to take this out and then down. Again, leaving a gap towards the bottom of the chin. And then from here, we're just going to curve out and up towards the side of the head. Let's fill the goatee in black. Now we're going to move back up and draw the inside edge of the hairline. We're going to start on the left. Start by going straight up. And at the top, we'll just bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, and then bend that in towards the same height. Now for the top of the hairline, we're going to draw a series of small curves that come down and up in towards the middle, but we're going to leave a gap in the center. So let's start on the left. Come down and up. It's going to continue this with various sized half circles. We're going to leave a gap in the center. Do the same thing on the right side. And we'll pull the hair down towards the center point. Let's we'll start back on the left. Curve down and then in. Go out and up on the right. 
Now we want to surround the outside of the head with various size curves pointing out. So we're going to start from the top of the cheek, start by going out and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Draw another curve. We're going to go a little bit bigger, just hugging the side of the head. And we'll work our way up towards the top. To right about there. And then we'll connect the tops with more curves that go up in the middle and then back down. Going up towards the top. So we're going to go a little bit higher in the middle. And we'll start to bring that down on the right side. And now I'm going to go in and fill the inside of the hair in black. Now once we filled in the hair, we're going to move to the outside and draw on the ears. Let's start from the side of the head. Just going to curve up, down, and then pull the ear in towards the side of the head. Line this up on the right, going up, down, and then in. And then we'll add some folds inside the ear. Starting from the bottom of the hair, curve up and then out with a short line. And then going back to the inside, we're going to add a hook, going out and then in. Now I'm going to move down and draw the arms crossed in front of the body with the hands in fists. So let's start with the outside edge of the arms. We start over on the left side, just underneath the head. Curve the arm going out and then down towards the elbow. Go over towards the right side, going out and then down toward the same height. Now we're going to place the left arm on top. So we start just underneath the chin. We're going to step down draw a half circle for the thumb. Going up and then down. On the right side of that half circle, we'll add a small bracket. Let's curl three fingers around. Starting from the outside of the thumb, we go out and then in around that bracket. Step up, curve around, and in with the second finger. Now the third finger is going to go out, down. It's going to bend that up towards the elbow on the left side. And then we'll draw the top of the forearm. Starting from the left side of the thumb, curve down and then out. Now the right hand is going to get tucked in behind. So start at the top of the left thumb, draw a small half circle going up and then down. And at the bottom, we'll add a small bracket. And we'll curl the fingers going around in behind the arm. Let's start from the left side of the thumb, going out, down, and then in. Step down, draw one more finger going out and then down in behind the arm. And then going back down towards the right elbow, curve the arm coming down and then up in the middle. Now we want to line up the forearms. So we're going to line this up over on the right, curve down and then out. Let's add those points coming down underneath the chin. We start right in the middle, start with an angle line coming down and in towards the middle, up towards the right. Let's add one more on either side pointing out. Step over, angle down and out. We'll pull that up and in underneath the head. Let's draw the edge of the glove. From the top of the forearm, we we'll step in, curve out, down, and then in. Go to the right side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Let's add those points across the edge of the glove. Starting from the bottom, and go up and in, and go straight back out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's leave a small gap and draw another one. Coming up and in, back out. And we'll add one more along the top. Starting from the top of the glove, come down and in, and then back out. Let's move down and draw on the side of the hips. We start on the left side, just underneath the arm. Start with a short line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here we're going to step in towards the middle, 
and then down draw a curve from left to right going up and then down now we're going to leave a small gap in the center go to the left side curve the leg going out and then down towards the left heel move over towards the right go out and down towards the right heel and then we'll round out the bottom of the feet starting from the left heel curve the foot coming down and then up towards the toe Go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. We start from the toe, we're going to curve up and in, round out the foot. Now I'm just going to pull this down towards the heel and stop right about there. And then I'll go back up to the hips and draw on the outside of the leg. We start from the left side, curve the leg going out, and then pull that down on top of the foot. And then we'll add some claws along the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the outside corner, curve up and in. And I'm just going to taper that back down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Go up and in, and then back down. And then we'll add one more on the inside, leaving a small gap. Curve up and in, and then back down. Let's add some detail to the legs. We're going to start from the hips, curve in, and then down, both sides. And then we'll taper that back out towards the outside of the legs. And then from the center, just underneath the arms, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. And then halfway along this line, I'm just going to curve up and out towards the left and right. Let's draw the edge of the boot. We're going to start halfway down the side of the leg, starting right here, curve down and up on the inside. Line this up on the right. And then we'll add some points coming down from the edge of the boot cuff. Starting from the outside, and we'll then in, and then go back up. Let's add one on the inside. Coming down. And up. And we'll add one more in between. Starting on the left. And then one more on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of the Black Panther. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.